Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of TA Hunters. Um, in this video, I'm going to be taking on a few jackdaws and I'm going to be hit the rats for that room tonight. Um, the location I'm in is just at the back of the house where I've got the uh, where we've got the yard. We've got the chickens there. Yeah, and we are suffering at the minute with obviously the jackdaws. They're causing an absolutely uh, havoc around here with their noise early in the mornings, keeping me and the neighbours awake. We do have kids as well, so we don't want to be keeping them awake. Um, I have spotted them on the uh, on the CCTV, which you can spin the camera out the back of the gate there, and um, they've been coming down in a quite a few uh, numbers. So we caught them on that camera there. And as you can see, there is a quite a lot of jackdaws at the back of the yard. But, um, yeah, so I'll do the jackdaws now, and then later on tonight, we'll hit the rats. Um, just going to go through the rifle, which I'm going to be using for this shoot. It's the, uh, so the rifle, or the pistol rifle, is the uh, Artemis PP750. This is a 2-2 calibre and um, a sub 11 foot, 0.1 foot pound little rifle. So when I first had this rifle, um, I got this rifle from Cole Russell & Co. That is my sponsorship. So when I got this rifle, it was um, a 6 foot pound rifle, which is under 6 foot pound uh, pistol. But the stock does slide out on it. And I've put a cheap piece on it now. So there's no chance that stock sliding back in and becoming a pistol. So I have had it tuned up to now 11.1 foot pound. So a uh, nice little compact rifle for taking out jackdaws and rats. I am only shooting these rats and jackdaws at, um, I think it's 20 to 25 uh, meters away so it's good distance to be taking them out especially with this um, on top of the rifle so I've got the scope there I've got the Archon Zulus 5 to 20 digital day and night scope this has got tons of features on this um, it's got ballistic calculator laser rangefinder and loads of other more stuff on it as you can see nice little set up for this sure so right that is the uh the weapon i'm gonna be using i'm just gonna show you now i'm just gonna put that on there put it on there and just over your shoulder I'll just spin the camera around we have the hide so the hide's been here now um i would say it's been here about 10 days and um, so I've stuck it here just to, um, so it all blends in, so the uh, jackdaws will get used to this, and now this becomes part of the furniture. So this is the area I'm gonna be shooting in. That little area there. So right, let's keep that shut. The jackdaws have flown up into the trees now. Um, so what we're doing, we're getting a hide with the, uh, with the rifle and then uh, Hopefully, should bag a few up.
shot that one. Um, they've all flown back up in the trees with the jackdaws. Um, don't really want to be leaving them out um, in the yard because a lot of these jackdaws won't come back down. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and pick him up. Well, at first I didn't think this was a very good um, hit with the pellet, um, but he doesn't go very far, maybe like two or three yards, and he does roll over and die. Um, these are quite tough little birds, you know. Uh, there ain't much of them, but they seem to put a bit of a fight. But this one doesn't get very far, and eventually he rolls over and dies. When you shoot a jackdaw, it sort of it takes a few seconds for it to die. You know, I don't know if the pellet's gone straight through it or what. But um, I don't really want to be taking headshots because these birds are moving around quite a lot. It's hard to get a headshot, so I've been going with body shots. But they seem to once you hit them, they seem to uh, give it. I'd say three to five seconds. And you can see them sort of gasping for their breath, and then they just roll over and die. But don't really like seeing that, but in the day I'm here to do a job, so it is what it is. But hopefully, come on, we'll get a few more. We got so far, we got four. So no, we ain't. We've got five, five so far. So so far, so good. So we've got a couple of squirrel feeders here, which are old, retired feeders. And my good old neighbour has put them on a tree and converted them into uh, bird boxes for the wild little birds, uh, which um, I think winter is about two months away. So we've got none moved in there yet, but hopefully they're moving very, very soon. a bit quiet now even the chickens have uh, shut up for a bit
got him, he's sort of gone where the, where the uh, water butts are. So what I'm going to do is, I can't really see him, but I'm going to give him a, uh, give him a quick follow-up shot. He's down. Couldn't really see if it was a clean kill or not at first, but I'll give him a follow-up shot just to make sure he was uh, properly dispatched. Um, do you know what? I am going to call it a day in a minute. Um, he's getting a little bit late. Been here now for about two and a half hours, and uh, I've just spotted a little rat run across. So, but I'll get them tonight. So we will come back tonight and shoot the rats with the same little setup. But for now, I'm gonna call it a day. Um, pack up um, and uh, I'm gonna go, um, gonna pick the last one up. I've got the rest down here next to me. I'm gonna go and get some photos done with this. So um, I will see you in a few hours time when we take on the rats. So right, um, we're going to be taking on the rats in about two hours time, uh, just waiting for it to get dark now, so I'm really really looking forward to that, uh, but I'm more looking forward to this new bit of kit which has just turned up about 15 minutes ago, so I'm right, just going to spin it over my shoulder, and as you can see, some of you will know about this already, it's the Man Billy uh, Carbon Fibre tripod that is just literally turned out just in time for this shoot so right spin the camera around quickly so there we go this is a tripod and um, you can see he's got the carbon fiber legs on there got some nice big rubber grips on there to undo and it extends the uh, legs out and the bottom of them legs does come with some studs. All ready for the winter. Stick them in the mud and then stop the tripod sliding around. It does come with a carrier as well. Also, this tripod comes with a nice gun clamp saddle as well. Just spin it around. As you can see, nice solid bit of kit. It's got the ball head on there as well. I won't go in too much depth about it. I uh, will be bringing a uh, YouTube video on it. But for now, uh, that is my man Billy little tripod. Um, I'm going to be using. Obviously, same setup as earlier. This little bad boy will be clamping in this little bad boy. Can't wait for this for tonight. All we've got to do now is wait for it to get dark. So, uh, one sec, you ready for this? Let's go.
So right, I've been here about, what, five minutes now? And I spot this big fat rat creeping around in the uh, chicken pen. Um, I put peanut butter outside the, uh, outside the pen. Um, but all I've got to do now is wait for him to come out. And once so, I can take him out with a nice headshot. Right, I've taken that shot, uh, realised it was quite a bad shot. You can see the uh, poor rat here suffering quite bad. But he does roll over and um, start to die. Um, and the day, we can't leave this rat suffering. You know, some people say it's only a rat, but it's still an animal. Well, still a pest. So um, a quick reload the uh, rifle. Um, remember, it is dark here, so it's quite a challenge to uh, load this single shot tray in the dark but once so loading this rifle i finally take him out with a final headshot right after that shot feel a lot lot better he uh he's finally taken out so what i'm going to do um i'm going to leave all my good shots and my bad shots um in this video you know a lot of people out there will only show you the good uh, kills they do on these pests but in the day this is real life air rifle hunting and all my videos i will show you my misses all my good shots and my bad shots so uh let's crack on and hopefully we can get this one with a nice clean shot Well, this shot here, I don't normally take because the rat's in the chicken pen. But this one, I couldn't help myself but take the shot. He was staring at me right outside the cage. And uh, it was a nice clean headshot. And yet, he lays dead in the chicken pen. Right, after shooting that rat, um, I noticed this, um, it was the only youngster. They've got this one here. It decides to feed up on him. Um, they do eat each other. So what I do, I stink this pellet straight through his back into his head. And he can join his mate under the chicken pen. Right, this is another one, one of my misses. Um, I take a shot and it literally just skims the top of his head. Uh, well, a quick slight down, I'll show you. As you can see, the pellet goes just above his head. And we've got another one here as well. This is another miss. I thought I'd put them in the video. Um, I will show you the shot and then I will slide down. And you can see for yourself where the pellet went. You see it strike the pallet 
at the top of his head. Unbelievable. Missed two rats in the space of about two minutes. Right, that was only a young rat, that one. There is quite a, f a lot of young rats around the backyard. Well, I shot this one. He does seem to have put up a bit of a fight, really. Uh, but he does finally roll over and die in between the two water butts. So right, I've taken that shot. Um, I actually thought I missed that rat, but um, it was a nice clean headshot. Um, so when I do finally go to uh, check him out and make sure he's dead, um, I realise he's a big old, big old rat uh, with a nice big fat pellet splattered in the side of his head. So right, taking a shot here, this rat is literally about 10 yards away, so really, really close. I have to raise the crosshairs just above his head, um, and the pellet smashes him straight in the head, and uh, down he goes. Right, this rat here was a bit of a problem, so I just took the shot because this rat would not keep still. It was running back and forward, and it was hard for me to take the shot. But I do, I think I shoot it through the neck, and uh, as you can see, he's brown bread. Um, end up being a good shot at the end, but I finally, uh, we finally got him. So right, I'm going to call it a day. I'm absolutely knackered now. It is about 12 o'clock. Um, and it's really, really cold. I forgot the old gloves. I know the house is only there. But still, you know. But we still got, what did we end up with? Um, I think it was about just over a dozen rats. So well pleased um, with today's shirt. What did we get? We got eight. Um, jackdaws earlier and about like a dozen rats today so really happy especially with the little setup I've got here today the uh, Archon Zulus little digital day night scope has done me really really good you know crystal clear picture with this day and night and also we got the Artemis PP 750 Two two caliber little compact rifle that has done well as well. And most of all, I'm really chuffed with is my man Billy little tripod, my um, carbon fiber tripod. This has kept my rifle rock solid. Um, nice and still 
for when taking these shots. So at the minute, I'm just going to move this strap out of the way. So at the minute, this little uh, setup I've got, I really would chop with, and I'll be definitely using it again on some um, some pests, maybe maybe some squirrels. Might have a go a couple of squirrels next time. So uh, I just want to say thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it, um, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.